Hey strangers, welcome back. Today I am going to be talking about Centress Daffodil by Gemtress in the color 27 33, also known as Chestnut. This is a fantastic chestnut color, guys. Isn't it pretty? I'm thinking this wig in this color makes me think 60s socialite. So I did my winged eyeliner today, y'all. Can you tell that I have no idea what I'm doing? I know you're thinking, your wings look pretty good for someone who doesn't know what they're doing. And that's because I totally cheated and used these eyeliner stamps I got off Amazon. So they make them perfect. And the ones I'm using are like a 12 millimeter. So that vintage look. And they actually turned out pretty good. For somebody who has no idea what they're doing, I swear. <laughs> my eyeshadow, I didn't know what I was doing. I watched some YouTube videos to try to figure out how to put it on. I'm standing in front of the mirror and I felt like, I don't know, a toddler or an elementary school girl in her mother's makeup trying to make herself look like her mom in the 60s before Jimi Hendrix and Twiggy get there and hang out in the living room with her socialite mom. Now you can get a lot of different looks, I think, out of this wig depending on how you style it. I've got it behind my ears here because this is kind of how I wanted it to look today. I've got my little kind of boho -y shirt on. I went to lunch with my husband today and I was going for that kind of 60s look. But if you pull it out from behind your ears, you can see it's, it's different. It's not 60s Tupperware party look anymore. It's really kind of cute. Now, I wasn't really sure how I was going to feel about this style. I saw it on a wig sister, and she's a lot smaller than me. Her head is smaller and everything. So I didn't know how this was going to look on me. And I am pleasantly surprised by how it looks. And for some reason, I had kind of forgotten that this wasn't a lace front. I'll show you. Not a lace front, but it's got these little wispy kind of bang type things right there. Yeah, and that conceals it really well. You, you can't really tell. It's very pretty, very pretty. And I think you could even do that little twisty trick and maybe piece it out a little bit to give it an even different look. This would be a good time to turn around and show it to you on all sides. She's super cute. I think she's adorable. I could just play with her all day long. These Centress fibers, y'all, I didn't talk about this in my Zinnia review. And I could just kick myself for not even mentioning it. But they feel so good. This feels like my bio hair. Now, I kind of have thick, semi-coarse bio hair, but this is, this is nice. It's nice because it's like running my fingers through my own hair. And nobody would ever know this is not my hair. It's a really easy style. Seriously, I put this on my head and it immediately looked this good. Like I could just walk right out of the house almost immediately. I've not got any product in this wig and I'm not going to put any in there and I'll explain that to you a little bit later. But it looks this awesome, like right out of the box. I really, really am impressed with how easy it was to just put this wig on and take off and go to lunch with my husband today. Let's take a look at the inside of the cap. I mean, it's a lot like Zinnia. It's got a full mono top, a double mono top, and it's got this poly strip right here. But you know what? I don't notice this as much as I do on my Zinnia. Maybe it's just because I've gotten used to it. And maybe it's because Zinnia actually goes a little further across there. And then there's also lace right in front of the poly strip on the Zinnia. But this is so comfortable. If you don't have hair on your head, you're really going to love this cap because it's so comfortable. It feels so good. Now the back, it's a hand tied cap y'all. And it's got these reinforcements right here. 
Now these horizontal lines right here, those are wefts, but they sit like at the bottom. It's got this little plasticky kind of strip here where I think you could put tape if you were gonna glue it down on your head. It's got a nice comfy extended nape right there. The Velcro adjusters. These are felt ear tabs, very comfortable. And they've got little metal stays in them. The straps are covered. And let me just tell you guys, if you don't have a Centress wig already, these caps are so comfortable. I wore my Zinnia, my 2010 Zinnia, in San Antonio this last weekend. We went down there to go to SeaWorld and Aquatica and the Riverwalk, and it was so hot. Like, I thought I was going to die several times during the trip. I thought, I'm going to ruin our girls' trip by dying on it. I took my wig off at SeaWorld for two for the last two hours that we were there. So I wore that Zinnia probably 13 to 15 hours every day because it was packed with activity and the only time I took it off was the last two hours that we were at SeaWorld. It was really comfortable and you would think after spending all that time in a wig, by the end of the weekend, I would have just wanted to throw that thing in the trash. But I loved her even more after all of that. So by the end of the weekend, all I had done to her, by the way, was finger comb her. I didn't put any conditioning spray or anything in her all weekend. So all I was doing was finger combing her to get her looking good again. And she kind of, by the end of the weekend, she looked like I'd been outside. Like bio hair, good bio hair but you've been outside. These fibers are just amazing. And she took that heat like a champ. It was so brutal, guys. Sun, wind, I was constantly spraying myself in the face with water, so it was getting there. I sprayed sunscreen on my face. I, I was sweating and she still looked amazing. Like my hair looked pretty good. When I got home, I took some of that, um, this, this right here. It's Aesthetica Mist, Revitalize and Shine Wig Mist. And I sprayed this on the hair and just gently combed through it with a wide tooth comb and then scrunched it a little while it was on the wig head. And it looks like a brand new wig, you guys. So, oh, full disclosure, Leanne over at the Beauty Nook actually gave me this so that I could share my experience with our with our group over there. So I didn't actually buy this, but I'm going to tell you right now, when this runs out, I'm buying more of this. So these fibers, guys, these are amazing. Just lay there and pet it. The caps are so comfortable. I mean, scorching San Antonio, middle of the summer, might die on this trip, heat. And she handled that. And this cap right here is, is the same cap minus the lace front. Let me get her back on. So I'm going to switch up the order a little bit this time. And I'm going to tell you about my buying experience before I do the styling. Because I need to explain to you why I'm not going to do all the styling options that I feel like I could on this wig. So I bought this wig from the Beauty Nook. A live sale they had and it was a clearance sale so kind of an everything must go thing and the prices were so amazing that I probably would not have picked this wig up in this color if it were not for the price I got on it and I snapped it up really fast and immediately after the show I got a message from a wig sister who was saying hey if you don't need that wig it's kind of perfect for me. And I thought, do I really need any of my wigs? I mean, no, I don't need it. And this isn't the color I would have gotten it in for me, but I wanted to try it. And at this price, I just couldn't pass it up. So I got it. It's not really my color and it's, you know, her color and the wig is perfect for her. I do love the style, so I've decided I'm going to get another one in Sable because I think this wig would be amazing with my Mary Janes and my skull shirts and my, my coffin purse. So I'm thinking 
I'm thinking sable would be the ideal color for me in this wig and I am going to order one for myself. But this wig right here on my head is not going to be mine. I'm going to pass it along to a wig sister because it's perfect for her. So I've kind of told you why I'm not gonna style it a whole lot, but let me just say that I love these live sales so much, y'all. I'm gonna have to stop tuning into them because I buy something every single sale. And they're great prices great prices, hard to pass up. If you're on the live sale, unless it's a clearance sale and you don't happen to get the wig you want, you can usually order it from Leanne and the prices are usually good through the weekend. And sometimes you can even get a different color of the wig for the same price. So fantastic buying experience. And it kind of goes with a Facebook group where there's a lot of support, a lot of really cool ladies. If you've watched my last two reviews, I've really talked about that a lot and I have not changed the way I feel about this group. I really love being part of this group. Amazing ladies. I will probably spend this Friday night with them and I'll probably like have to I'm really going to have to restrain myself because as it is, I've gotten so many wigs from them at really good prices that I've probably got enough to last me through the rest of this year. So there will be a lot of wig reviews coming your way. And I got a lot of those at the Beauty Nook. I'm gonna post links to the group and to the business page down below so that you can join the group if you want to and attend the live sales. And if you just want to place an order, you can go straight to the business page and great deals, great prices, friendly service. I just cannot stop raving about this experience. I really enjoy shopping with them. It's a really fun experience. And the live sales, I mean, I'm giving up Friday nights out to hang out at these live sales. That's how awesome they are. So before we get to the styling, let me just kind of show you the coverage on these. I have explained before, I'm very Sasquatchy. I have a hairline that comes way up and a lot of hair. So this is the kind of coverage I'm getting. I will post my measurements and the details down below so if you kind of want to compare how this might look on you you can take a look at my measurements I actually saw this wig on one of the wig sisters and she has a smaller head than me so it looks different on her it looks longer on her on me it's kind of well shoulder length in the front and in the back it's it's shorter Now for a little bit of styling. I'm probably only gonna do like three of them. You saw it behind my ears earlier and it was so easy to just get this thing styled. I just grabbed a little bit so that I you couldn't see my hairline because I didn't blend any bio hair, but if I blended my bio hair, I wouldn't even have to do that. This kind of go back behind my ear too. And then same thing on this side, just grab a little bit so that you can't see that hairline and pull it back. And there you go. It's that easy. Now, along those lines, let me get a few accessories to show you. So people rave about those square headbands, but I don't actually have any of those yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe spring for some, but I just haven't even had time to go out there and shop my little heart out for square headbands. So I've just got a regular headband, a little navy one, it goes with the navy in my shirt. And pull this back and I'm just gonna leave some out. And in the case of this headband, I think I wanna leave even a little bit more out. Just for cuteness, not because I need to, and then I'm going to take my headband and there you go. Isn't that cute guys? 
And it's that easy to just get a headband in there and it keeps the hair kind of back so it doesn't get in your face. And then if you, if it was still kind of bugging you, you could put that behind your ear or you could have kept it back in the first place. Okay, take this out and move on to our next style, but you take them out. It's real easy to whip this hair back into shape, much easier than a lot of my other wigs. I'm sure if you guys have watched my other videos, you see I almost always, whenever I re-watch them on my 4K TV, because I, I talked my husband into getting a 4K TV so that I could watch my videos on them, and then he caught me in there watching like Game of Thrones on it. Game of Thrones and Supernatural are awesome to watch in 4K. Okay, so, I still got some behind my ear here. So if you guys watch Amber over at Fabricating Fringe, she does these really cute little boho hairstyles with these, these little hair bands. And I can never make them look as cute as she does, but see, isn't that cute? It just kind of pulls it back off your face a bit. And I think this is cute like that. It looks a little different like that. So it would also be really cute with a couple of little toddler clips. These aren't the infant clips with the with the coating here. So these are a little toothy. You gotta be real careful with these so that you don't pull hairs out. And I wanna be real careful with this one since this is not gonna be my wig. Isn't that cute? Just a couple of little bows to pull it back out of your face. Be real careful with them because with this hand tied cap, you gotta be careful, don't puncture your cap. Do not use bobby pins with it. I punctured my Julianne with a bobby pin. So I think from now on, every time I talk about a hand, ca hand tied cap, I'm gonna be like, don't use bobby pins because they will poke a hole in your cap. But these are cute and you could poke a hole in your cap with these two, so be careful. And be careful taking them out because of the teeth. So, don't yank it even after you've got the hair out because you wanna make sure you've got it all. And see, I made a clean break. I didn't take any hairs out. I'm sure the woman who is buying this wig for me is like, don't rip hairs out of my wig. Okay, hold it in place, undo it again, and make sure you're getting any little hairs out of there that are in there. Very carefully take it out. Because wig hairs don't grow back, y'all. These cute little clips. I got these off Amazon. I'll link them below. I think I got everything that I showed you today off of Amazon and I will link them below. So you could probably put her over on the side too because she does have this full mono top. I don't have my little wig parting brush in here today. It wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't go all wonky blurry in the middle of it, right? Oh yeah, see, isn't that cute? Very pretty. And then you could part it on this side too. Um, because this is not a lace front, you'll have to be careful that you're not exposing the cap on it. Uh, and that could be tricky. That could be a bit tricky. 
But see, it already looks, I mean, it doesn't look totally different. Like with the Zinnia, when I parted it differently, I felt like that one looked like a totally different wig every time I parted it a different way. This one, not so much. But I think my favorite, guys, is this middle kind of part with this little side swept baby hair thing here. I'm a wild child. So this has been me talking to you about Centress Daffodil by Gemtress in the color 27 slash 33, also known as Chestnut. Did I show you guys the color? I didn't show you, I didn't really show you the color, did I? I like to get up close and show you the color. So in this light, which kind of mimics outdoor light, you can see it's got a bit of a red tone to it and it's very chestnut. But in indoor light, I kind of feel like it, it leans more brown than red. I knew I wasn't gonna get out of this with a clean farewell. I knew I was forgetting something, and there I was. I was forgetting something. So. Okay, let's try this again. This has been me talking to you about Centress Daffodil by Gemtress in the color 27 slash 33, also known as Chestnut. I got it from the Beauty Nook. Thank you for watching.